So today I'm gonna to show you how to do a blind stitch which you can use to fix a tie where the seam has come out down the back. Now I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna sew right into the edge of this top piece of fabric, so right along the fold. But generally ties come sewn a little bit behind that top edge, so you're able to pull up a little bit and it's sewn really loosely so everything will lay flat. Um, I'm going to sew right into the edge of that fold because my tie was pressed a little bit off where it should have been. It had ripped before it went to the cleaners and then when it was at the cleaners they pressed it and the fabric was a little bit off. So to make sure that it lays properly down the front of the tie, I'm going to sew right into this edge. But just so you're aware, normally ties are sewn in a little bit behind that top edge. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove all of the stitching up to about here, where I need to fix that binding there. Um, up here, they're a little bit loose, so I'll just pull it tight and we'll leave the rest of the tie the way it was and then we'll stitch all the way back down to this end where it is closed at the end. So let's remove the stitches. So now that all the stitches are removed, we are going to have to first reattach this and secure it together so it doesn't start to rip when we're trying to stitch the tie back together. So the tie was originally sewn together with a thicker um, glossy thread, but I don't have any right now, so I'm just going to use a regular old piece of thread and hope that it holds. And I have double threaded my needle. So in order to secure this binding, we're going to have to go in behind the material so that the knot is hidden. Directly on the fold line and then out the other side. Now that I've secured these two pieces of fabric together and I've tied it off in a knot, we can start to reattach both sides of the tie together. When you're sewing two pieces of fabric back together, you want to make sure that you tie off the original thread so that your garment doesn't keep unraveling. And then you want to start your new thread a little bit farther past the old thread so that you don't unravel the garment where the two pieces of thread meet. So make sure that there's an overlap so you have a little bit extra security in that area. Um, I have tied off the previous thread there but I've left it loose so that I can still show you what I'm doing. I'm going to start up here and you want to go in behind this fold in the fabric. So you're going to take your needle and you're going to slide it up the inside of the tie, making sure you don't poke through the other end. And then you're going to come up right where the two pieces of fabric meet. So this is a few stitches back. And then you're going to pull your thread all the way up and through. So now your knot is in behind the fabric on the inside of the tie. 
So once you have your knot in behind that back piece of fabric, you're going to do your next stitch into the front piece of fabric right in to the crease here. So you're going to insert right on the crease line, go along the crease line and then come out a couple millimeters down and then pull through. And when you pull it tight, you're going to see that that first stitch you did is hidden behind this front piece of fabric and the seam is completely invisible. Your next stitch is going back into the back piece of fabric. So right here, where you want your front piece of fabric to line up on your back piece, that's where you're gonna insert your needle. You're gonna go into the center piece of fabric, which is this white interfacing here. Catch that piece of fabric, go along a few millimeters, and then come out the other side. Now you want to make sure that you're only in this piece of fabric, the center piece, and not going all the way through to the front. There should be no holes in the front of your tie. When you're sure of that, you can pull the needle all the way through and pull tight. Going back into the crease line on the front piece of fabric, going along that crease line, out the other side, and pull tight. And there's your seam. So now that I've finished the tie all the way down to the end, I need to tie it off. So what I did is come in behind here, grab a little bit of the fabric on the bottom here, come out, and then just go through this loop here, and then pull tight. So you're making a knot, you could do a couple stitches like that, and then cut it off and it should be good and secure.